All right, guys. Uh, in this platform, we shall be focusing on the first principles that is uh, from our August 2023 exams. We give it to determine or to find the derivative of y with respect to x. Given this function, uh, that was our question in this case. Uh, we are supposed to determine the first derivative or to determine uh, dy dx in this case, uh, to determine the first derivative with respect to x, which simply represents dy dx. So remember that from our formula, we understand that the first derivative of with respect to x can be given from our formula, which states that the limit as h is approaching to zero of uh, f of x plus h minus uh, f of x over h. This is the uh, formula that we are considering when we are working with the first principles. All right. So on our formula, we can properly see that there is a need for us to determine the f of x plus h. Already we have got our f of x in this case. We are going to need to find f of x plus h, whereby we are simply saying f of x plus h, that is in place of x, we are going to substitute x plus h in place of x. So this was going to be 5 into, in place of x, we are going to have 3 into x plus h, like this, plus 2 whereby we can expand our brackets and simplify in this case, whereby we are going to have something like, uh, if we simplify our f of x plus h is going to be five over uh, three times x, that would be three x uh, plus three h plus two in this case. All right, so that is what we have. And we consider again that we are supposed to subtract the two f of x plus h minus f of x. So what we're supposed to obtain from our f of x plus h minus f of x, we can actually do this aside and calculate and see what you're going to have. Remember, we have our f of x plus h in this case, which is this part. So we're going to have five over three uh, x, all right? So this part is supposed to be three x plus three h plus two. That is our f of x plus h. Then we are going to subtract f of x uh, the original function that we're given before our f of x, which is five over uh, 3x plus two. So you have got a five here uh, over 3x plus two like this. All right, so this is the whole expression that we are supposed to work with. And how are we going to simplify this part? If we are to consider here, we can see that we have got a fraction, we've got a fraction. So we can consider finding the LCM, the lowest common multiple of our denominators in this case, which is going to be, uh, we combine what we have from the first fraction and the second fraction in this case. So uh, that is going to be everything over. Uh, here we've got uh, 3x plus 3h plus 2 into the bracket of uh, 3x plus 2 in this case. So remember, when you are dividing or when you are simplifying over here, you have to divide the LCM back to the denominator, the first one. So as you can see, if you divide this part and this part is going to cancel, meaning to say we remain with three X plus two on this part. So we are going to remain with three X plus two multiplied to what? Multiplied to five. So it's going to be five into three uh, X plus two minus, we do the same thing. If we are to divide this part here and this part here will cancel, meaning to say we are going to remain with uh, 3x plus 3h plus 2, which is multiplied to what? To the negative 5 on top. So it's negative 5 into the bracket of 3x plus 3h plus 2. So that is the whole idea there. Expand your brackets. 5 is going to multiply everything in the first bracket. So that means you multiply by 5. 5 by 3 was going to give us a 15x. 5 by 2, this was going to give us a 10. The same thing, we move on to the other part, we multiply by negative each and every term inside here. So it's going to be negative 5 times 3, which is negative 15x, negative 5 times 3h, which is going to be negative 15h. Then we've got negative 5 times 2, which is going to be a negative 10. Do not forget the LCM, the common denominator of everything that you are given before, which is 3x plus 3h plus 2 into 3x uh, plus 2 in this case. So this is going to be a 3x plus 2. So here we can collect our like terms. Yes, it's true that we have combined, but if we uh, can collect like terms, we can simplify, as you can see, the 15x and the minus 15x will cancel, the 10 and the minus 10 will cancel. So we are going to remain with uh, 
a negative 15 edge on top. That is the only part that is remaining. So we're going to remain with the negative 15 edge, everything over our denominator of 3x uh, plus 3h plus 2 into 3x uh, plus 2 like this. So this whole part is representing our f of x minus h. So uh, f of x, f of x plus h minus f of x. This is what we are obtaining from this function. But uh, this is not all. This is not all that we have. Let us consider our formula back. On our formula, we can see that from this part, we are going to need, after finding f of x plus h minus f of x, this part here, we are going to divide by what? We are going to divide by h. So let us simply divide by h at once so that we just come back to substitute our values. This is our f of x plus h minus f of uh, x in this case. So we are going to need f of x plus h minus f of x, everything over h. So what does this part mean? We are simply dividing this part that we have here. We are going to divide by what? We are going to divide it by h. This is what it means. So this h here and this h here will cancel. So at the end, we are going to remain with minus 15 on top all over uh, 3x plus 3h plus 2 in this case. All right, everything into 3x plus 2. So this part here is representing everything that we have inside of the bracket. f of x plus h minus f of x over h. This is the part that we are having inside here. This is the part that we are having inside of our derivative or this formula. So we are going to substitute now as it is this whole expression that we got here. This is the part that we are going to substitute, the part that we got, uh, which is representing f of x plus f of x plus h minus f of x over h. So we are going to substitute this uh, remaining part, which is minus 15 over this whole uh, part of our case. So let us substitute and see what we are going to have at the end. So like I'm saying, uh, in this case, we were going to obtain our first derivative with respect to x is going to be the limit as h is approaching to zero into. So like I said, we're going to substitute all the whole part that we obtained and we obtained minus 15 over, it was the bracket of uh, 3x plus 3h plus two, if you still remember, and to the bracket of uh, 3x plus two. That was our simplification from this part here. We are substituting this part, all right, as it is, this part as it is. That is the one that you must substitute into our f of x plus h here. All right, let's do it this way so that we can properly see. So this is the part that we are going to substitute f of x here plus h. This whole part is this indication that we see here. So we have already divided by h. So the condition that we are now left with on this part is to apply the limits, we are done with the edge that was uh, uh, affecting us. We have divided by that edge. In the, this is the edge that was affecting us, and we have divided by this edge. So we can now apply our limits to say wherever there, wherever there is an edge, we are going to uh, limit it to zero. Wherever we see edge, we are going to limit the part to zero. So we need to say here, we've got edge. We are going to see that with a zero. So at the end, that is the only part with edge. So we are going to remain at, on top with the negative 15 over, here we are going to remain with 3x plus two because this whole part here is now a zero. So we are going to remain with uh, 3x plus two into the bracket of uh, 3x plus two. So that's it, uh, which we can just conclude. Remember, just like x times x, it's x squared. So meaning to say also from this part, we can just conclude to say our first derivative with respect to x is going to be negative 15 over the bracket of 3x plus 2 squared. That is, we are raising this bracket to the power of 2. Like I'm saying that 5 times 5 is the same as 5 squared. So if you are given two brackets which are the same, you can simply raise that bracket to the exponent of 2. So that was the whole idea of our question. Just have to work with more questions as much as we can so that we'll be able to find the derivative of this nature. So this is the typical question. All you need is to calculate your derivative, I mean the simplification aside, make sure that you simplify aside from the simplification after you are done 
by dividing by h, substitute back into your formula. You are given the formula here, substitute back into the formula, then apply the limits because we no longer have the h in the denominator. So you can apply the limits at the, at the end.